So there's a couple of limitations to The Sims and how many people can live in a house. Um, I guess really I'm there's only... guess Dan Mullen lives in one of those bushes. There's only one limitation how many people can live in a house, and it's how many people can live in a house. So, um, so only like eight people can live in a house, so I just split the conference up evenly because I didn't realize this limitation beforehand. I didn't make it like SEC East, SEC West houses because I was just kind of making all the coaches that came to mind first. So they're not really divided up in any sort of order. Which one do you guys want to go visit first? The, this white house or uh, this kind of greenish yellowish house? Before, before we decide, is it, is it possible that we can get like a, like a slow motion zoom in on the house that we pick, like with the, with the, either the full house or a family matters theme song? <laughs> <laughs> I'll add it in post, but you got it, buddy. house number two first i mean yeah i was really pulling for number one but well you should have spoken up that's kind first of on upset you. upset of the evening that's kind of on you all right here we go <laughs> we're starting off strong uh let's just look at our at our good friend jeremy pruitt right here that's the only orange if, outfit i could find and if there's one thing we know about friend. about the university of tennessee it's that everyone has to be wearing orange at all points in time they're big Star Wars fans too. Yes, definitely. They're, they're they're real nerds up here in Knoxville. Yeah, he was one of the last ones that I made, and at this point in time, I think I was just kind of tired, and I was like, whatever, I'm not gonna try to make it look that much like Jeremy Pruitt. I'm just gonna make him as orange as possible. What's more believable, uh, Jeremy Pruitt's head being shaped that way, or Jeremy Pruitt understanding the rules of chess? <laughs> uh, head shape by far. Now this. <laughs> As you can tell, he's playing chess against the one and only, uh, what I name him, Erd Orgeron. <laughs> so there's a, that's Ed Orgeron. I mean, he's got, I mean, purple and gold pants on. Look at Kocho, giant shirtless. I don't know what's wrong with his eyes. <laughs> from, from here on out, can we try to can we try to guess which coach we're looking at? Yeah, absolutely. Um, <laughs> Wonderful. If you want to try to guess what's going on with his eyes, though, in the in the meantime. That also works. Nope. <clears throat> you just had a handful of Sour Patch Kids. Yeah, it almost looks like you started with um, like a template for Barack Obama's head and then just misshaped it horribly. <laughs> yeah. And like you were dragging to like refit it, but your mouse died. So it just went off screen and pulled it all the way to the side. Hey, and I mean, Coco just gave us a, a diamond ring with a, a ball and chain, uh, you know, clearly reflecting his his current life situation. That, that he, yep, yeah, that's exactly it. That's exactly I like that his head doesn't even show up in his profile picture down here. Like I made no, him, uh, he's, uh, he's larger yeah. than life and I made him as such. So if you guys want to guess who that is right there. What the tall bald one? Yes. Both of them. Derek Mason. Yeah. That's Derek Mason. Yeah. He's got okay. a form fitting polo. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. He's pretty jacked. Yep. Form fitting polo. More importantly, that chiseled chin. That's really yeah. what I was trying to capture with Derek Mason. Yeah. Is the yeah. chin here. I think that that is, uh, I think that's the best. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, uh, somebody's doing, oh God, who is that? Who did I make? Oh no. Who did I make here? Um, oh, that's Coach Boo. <laughs> okay, so I don't know why I made it that Will Muschamp's got this shirt on. But that's Coach Boom. And it makes sense that Coach Boom would be the one we'd see just angrily doing push-ups. In the back for yeah, no reason. No, he's, his his face just looks. A, yeah, he's a fan of uh, Marvel's new She Punisher. Yeah, of course. Of green green suit over here is actually yelling about football. Anyone want to guess who green suit is? Because once again, I've no, I remember who that it's is. Definitely Lane Kiffin. 
You think that's Lane Kiffin? All right. I'm throwing, Any other I'm throwing out a, a, a Dirkwitz or whatever nope. his name is. That's, un that's rich uncle Jimbo Moneybags. Oh. <laughs> that's that's Jimbo Fisher wearing rich a... Uncle. Yeah, wearing a... Oh, we got some neighbors visiting. I don't. I didn't make that guy, so don't worry about him. Um, but yeah, that's Jimbo Fisher wearing a suit made out of money on account of how that, much that, money he's making. That makes perfect sense. Yeah. So I just picked him a money outfit. Um, this is these actually... Are, these, are, these are his rich neighbors in the oil industry. Yeah. This tiny human right here is... is that's, uh, um, that's actually Eli What's-His-Face. Uh, um, Drinkwitz, yeah. Yeah. Drinkwitz. He doesn't is matter. He, uh, is, is he short? I, I don't know. No one knows anything about him. Um, Eli Drinkwitz oh. just decided that book he just picked up isn't exciting enough for... <laughs> <laughs> either, either drawn here to help. <laughs> Eli Drinkwitz is a noted speed reader and already read it. Yeah, that's exactly it. Except now he's, now he's just torn. He doesn't know what he wants to read. Nope, he wants to go talk to Rich Uncle Jimbo Moneybags. <laughs> he, 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 and, uh, he and Jeremy Pruitt are going to have some really intelligent conversations here. Anyone want to guess who's sitting in the middle of the couch here? Because that's, uh, that's the I'm last... Who's bald? Hmm. You also can pay attention to the clothes, maybe, as a context clue. Like uh, the color he's rocking there or something. Is that, is that Stoops? Hey, Gus. That's Stoops. Oh, Stoops. Big big Blue Nation. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> so I, just, I guess I thought maybe this would be a funny shirt for notably angry man Will Muschamp to have on. But notice I gave him comically oversized mouth so he could better scream. He is a platypus. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I don't think he needs to be held in the department. So there we go. Yeah. So this is the this is the first house. Here's the here's here's the residence. <laughs> Stoops thinks this book is delightful. I feel, like, I feel like Mark Stoops sitting on a bench by himself reading is is pretty. <laughs> it's pretty indicative of how life yeah, goes. Pretty, pretty... Notice that he may be. Mark Stoops, but more more importantly, he's not Bob Stoops. That's what we know about him. At this point, honestly, I don't know which Stoops is which Stoops. Yeah. <laughs> so our Sim version of Ed Orgeron just wandered up and used a book as a as a prop for a gag, and then left. I think that seems that seems pretty appropriate, you know. Jeremy, Jeremy Pruitt sat down behind him to take a dump. Yep, yep. So that we live in a pretty good house here, uh, Coach Coach House Number One. Did you did you use cheats to build that house, or did you just? Um, well, since these are Division One SEC football, who brought hamburgers, veggie burgers? Ed Orgeron made a plate of veggie burgers <laughs> for everyone that, in the house that, to enjoy. That might be an NCAA violation. Yeah, it's hard to tell. It's hard to it tell with the, with the coaches. Anyway, um, well, they have SEC money, so they all were able to afford this fancy house. So okay. Derek Mason just got the charisma skill. This game is highly unrealistic. All right, there you go, guys. There's house number one. Yeah, so Eli Drinkwitz, I don't know anything about him. <laughs> He's staring straight down. Okay, all right. So I think we need to go visit uh, house uh, number two real quick, or the other house that has the rest of the coaches in it and introduce you guys to them. And then we can, uh, we can just kind of see what they want to do with their, with their lives, you know? All right. Here, here's our first coach here. Anyone want to guess who, uh, who this fine gentleman is? I tried to make him, uh, very plain because as a whole, he just seems like a pretty plain individual. Is that Sam Pittman? <laughs> now I'll show you Sam Pittman in a moment. <laughs> oh boy. You want to move on to another one then? Let's move on to another. Let's move on to this gentleman right here in the jorts. Oh, there's there's Sam Pittman, by the way. <laughs> That's perfect. Yes, sir. In fact, actually, his name is Yes, sir. Let's try to make him a real stocky boy. Yes, sir. He's a he's a he's a chonky boy, as they say. He's so chonky. He's he's thick with like four C's. Look at this guy. Mostly head, mostly horizontal. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Look at this. Look at this smug man right here in the nice hat and the and the jorts. 
Who do you think this is? That's Saban. You think that's Saban? He's angry and he's wearing that hat. He doesn't look angry to me. He looks more uh, more smug. Also, let's not forget he's wearing cut off jorts. That is kind of some. I mean that that's that's Florida energy. It is some Florida energy. Cut off shorts, the national dress of Florida, and Florida head coach Don Merlins. Don Merlins with his jorts gonna go hang out with. There's more burgers here. These are regular hamburgers that Gus Malzahn made. <laughs> Very horizontal. Yep, yep. <laughs> Brag about possession. Real quick, before anything else happens, I think it's it's just great that one of the options I had here for Don Merlins was for him to brag about his possessions. Y'all know who this is, right? That's well, Gus. So that's, yeah, that's absolutely Gus. Sweater I, vest. I tried to make yeah. it. I mean, the glasses, the sweater vest. I tried to make it, tried to make it as Gus as possible. Here, let, let's get over to the Mississippi boys. There's Mike Leach. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that fits. Uh, oh yeah, you you guys want to guess who this is? <laughs> That's Saban. There he is. <laughs> we found him. We found Nick Saban. He's smaller than everyone else. He's pissed and he's wearing a Darth Vader outfit. But he is washing the dishes. It's very thoughtful of him. He's washing his own dishes because he doesn't think anyone else is worthy of touching his dishes. Is he is he reading a book of black magic? Hey, hey, that's what it looks like. Oh yeah, he he, he has to fix his Lazarus bed. Yeah, uh, he's, he's just doing it now. He's putting it a he's putting it away. I think maybe. Uh... Oh yeah, and here the last one of the group, Joey Freshwater. I love it. I love it. I mean, he's just he's trying to be as low key. Just let just you know, don't mind me. I'm just Joey Freshwater over here doing my thing. Nick Saban can't even sit in the couch correctly. You'll notice that Kirby Smart is never very far away from Nick Saban, by the way. There we go. There we go. Everyone's very friendly in this house. Yeah, they, they're all hanging out. <laughs> well, actually, I think Sam Pittman's just enthralled by this TV show. He's not paying attention to anything. There was a, uh, a CBS Sports video today of, um, of uh, Kirby and Muschamp talking to like one of the CBS guys about when they were on staff with Saban and how, like, Saban would demand Muschamp rewind the film, and Muschamp was just like, "Coach, it's on the computer. Like you don't rewind it." And he was like, "Rewind it anyway." <laughs> and was making was making like like they had all they had all the video loaded onto the computer, and he was still making Kirby carry like forty tapes around to practice because he didn't want to like he didn't want to get caught with the computer not working. Why does that not I, surprise me in any sort of way? I love that Saban's basically a Luddite. Wow, they're all friends. Like all the, the, the Saban assistants that live in the house. The former Joey Freshwater over here. Yeah. Saban house. Yeah, this is Saban house for sure. It's the house of Saban for sure. Yeah, I'm really pleased with Mike Leach's face. Yeah, it, yeah. His face and hair combo. He's talking about trash. This could not be a more Mike Leach moment right now. Yeah, if there was a way for you to program him just only talking about Bigfoot. I love that this entire crew is just hanging out with each other. Like, they just wanted to hang out, just chill. They just moved into their house. You know, they're just having a good time. All right, so, uh, oh, yeah, everyone have has life goals. Nick Saban wants to be rich. Joey Freshwater. Ah, he's a serial romantic. That sounds about right. Gus nerd brain all right yep kirby's want to be rich because he just wants you know anything nick saban does kirby smart wants to do merlin's he wants a big mansion all right cool yeah uh -oh, nick saban acquired the comedy skill that's not that's not right that's not right at all all right gentlemen so we've met everyone what should we do here in our uh in our sec house Set it on fire. Okay. Mike Leach, where do you keep pulling food out from? Right, like, where's, like, is it in his room? I guess so. 
What's going on, dude? Mike Leach got them birthing hips too, bro. 